two, Rincon service. Remember when a box of sugar used to come with a little metal spout? Well, forget it. Since last we spoke this way, it rained for X days solid and the world material shortage has gotten well underway. But that's water under the bridge, sweeping away my car, my umbrella, the hat Arcadi gave me, the name of this city, unearthing its former name, my head wet, my feet sore, and taste sour. If I have taste, it is only for stones, Rambo. And now, at last, the standing water on the rooftop below me is gone, leaving a big green square of, what, moss? No one notices fog in a rust belt. You used to be a potentate, but now you are a hottentot. I'm still a glorified shipping clerk. We just missed each other for lunch. Next day, I forgot my wallet. Sure sign of identity spillage. I should have known better. So lunch will be your treat. So loss will be my theme sweeping through this brightly gleaming paragraph of wet city life with a cursory blinking stylus clearing the space before us. I don't think that guy would have let me on even had I been Robert Hunter. I saw you again later that day in the distance unfolding your lunch in the plaza. I was doing arts administration over sushi, my collar quietly circling my neck, my deliberate manner interrupting my brilliant interlocutor. Two weeks passed. You were in the mountains, noticing the difference. Foggy here, with a faint plume of smoke emanating from Nicholas Negropati's former Nehru jacket. The work week hunches its long spine. Again, lunch, this time on a park bench facing a Joan Brown obelisk. You don't pay attention to something just because it's art. Art must be at least as interesting as anything else, don't you think? Anonymous bashers clog the net. Bob's moves dependent on tenure. My theory is sound clocks the body for color, a yellow-brown and a rhyming perpendicular coolness. There's rain all over the map. I wonder if our old palms ever came out in proliferation. Your sadness is like a beautiful stream that has caught fire in L.A. Lyrical asymptotes fend off the harsher borders. The state of mind we don't reach but grab anyway, prevailing winds aside. Language poetry equals exuberance divided by skepticism times words. Why didn't I think of that? These thoughts were recorded for all time in an inadvertent deletion. That was before the last time we met, on stage, on Broadway, East Broadway. That was before the last time we had lunch and you told me about that phone bill I asked you for $4.86 to help clear up in a letter from the early 70s. We've known each other a long time, so we must have survived somehow. And will again soon, I dare say. No category could vouchsafe as much. Frames falling through space pilings out onto the street. The air has no tint. What it is, it's nippy. The typical user's attention span is the most rapidly moving target on the information superhighway. That's what it says here. No callbacks, instant recall, bearing the weight lightly on the balls of the feet. That's what it says there. I'm trying to put words to what's been thrown over the wall. To get from here to there and back, the circuit personality against this mediated chain link day, draw back and ventilate. Wide area nitwits support total somnolent, somnolent solutions. I actually had a martini myself at lunch today. I actually had myself a martini today at lunch, at risk, at Harrington's, watching the Giants on the big screen, at Wrigley Field of my childhood, sifting through the broken vertebrae of childhood toys, embrangled, erratic, caught off guard. I solicized the consortium of slippery rouge beans. They are not salty. My mouse squeaks, does yours? Meanwhile, I'm reading the return of the hard return that this little network protocol has done to the rat or rat. So little to notice, so many pairs of eyes. Who didn't get invited is a fine point, dotting the world canvas with ineffable pinprick fanaticism, teasing edgy solenoid shivers up to par in an email. You've got to be kidding. And you are. 
but it only hurts when you laugh. What's a banjo sandwich? Try it. That's a visual joke, so the party on the speakerphone wouldn't get it. A joke is a good way to break the ice. Ice is a good way to cool a drink. Drinks are a good way to wind down. Down is a good way to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, not forgetting to sweat bullets as the heat shield barely holds. Fire at will. You used to be on a plane, but now you are on the ground. My sentiments have run aground, bumped up against another time of day, a world away. You yo-yo by coastal bubba, I can see your strings attach. Jackhammers slap, slam at the rock behind me, behind the blinds I tilt to peek through. They're breaking up the old freeway ramp that hasn't gone anywhere since before the last big quake. This topsy-turvy progression of sighs, falters, signs, flutters, parasols, quints, and wanes. You have to wait until it beads up before applying another coat of finish. My concentration is a little off this morning, which in terms of this correspondence is actually a plus. That's what I like about your aperçu. I can recognize their characters without following their drift, kind of. I hear your back, jackhammers again. No, I take that back. It's actually a pile driver, I guess you'd call it, a large rafter-shaped thing on tank treads. Give me the news. Thank you. Three, victory. A chubby adolescent, with his hair in a wide sweep when he stood up to read at Epstein's books, I wouldn't have come upon Daryl Gray had it not been for toothpaste, which, which I found on a rack in a combo grocery and counterculture clothing store in Iowa City circa 1970. I was just passing through, like a camel through the eye of the beholder. Divided by, that is. And as I saw your quarterly earnings fall in today's morning paper, I noticed also a feature on the ambient club scene, something about a house of ouch, and that some of Dubuffet's monotone assemblages persist even today on 57th Street. I've had the guitar for about two months now. No wonder my palm rake has slowed to a crawl, phlegmatic, choke cherry, and football. Did I miss anything? I'm making a drop at Casper tonight, not Hauser, the Playhouse 90 docudrama that chilled me in the 50s, but as a favor for a friend on my way home from work, if I remember, upstairs from Kinko's, and I will remember, the credo of the 90s. We go to different schools in New Jersey. There's no money and different stories about what happened. It's 1958 here and Johnny Griffin is with Monk at the Five Spot. I'll be in Copley Square by tomorrow night. That sign you asked about is divided by, but I said that. Back in the air, this time for Technology Day, my first laptop wig work done skyborne. Beats hell out of Mr. Holland's opus. These poor girls being forced to be acrobats on the same flights over and over again like comedians lost in a movie theater. But I got an exit row, so I'm pretty happy. Nice to see work by our artist Lillian grace that periodical from Bellamy Killian. Nice much later to be quietly home in the hush of pre-fourth hotitude. How's life under the cape? Yes, it's been over one year and a half since last I wrote. Seems like more or less. Seems like more or less. And it's funny. I've traveled here and there. There are a lot of places, all different. Change is change. Good is good. Bad is different. Difference is golden. I'd like to take the whole trip. There are any number of ways to look at this, and you came up with one I'd never have imagined. That's what I like about you. The haze, the drinks, the music from the, uh, the, the music above the canal, the kids cracking jokes on the stairs, the co-workers hurrying in from the parking lot, the various angles on strategy bent in half during conference room vernacular asides. The conversation was more or less open to anything. That's the way it felt. Not out of control, but relaxed and alert, like an athlete poised for service. It's all in the wrist. Everything that does go wrong can. A lot of work is being done sideways, depending on whether that soft shoulder is on the level, depending on whether that snake lightning zipper zips down the street. Fucking A, El Nino took out all his toys preempting our usual walks. I have read and understood this exclusion, 
and I don't have stupid written on my forehead. There's a premium on bandwidth, like driving a grand piano through a keyhole. But no sweat. Our shop-worn spatial metaphors won't hold water. The details pour out to sea. Forget about it. 